Welcome back. Today we are working out with one of Rob's favorite pieces of equipment. It is a TRX suspension training harness and joining us is Shona Martin who I'm going to let you talk more about this because I, I'm so geeked up about this and you're going to have a mm -hmm. TRX boot camp at Supreme yes. Health and Fitness we'll talk about a little bit later. And this I don't care how much weight you can push off a bench press. There are some exercises mm -hmm. that are so challenging, like the one you did on our little shot with mm -hmm. the push-up, the atomic push-up there is just incredibly tough. Well, this by far is my favorite piece of equipment. Mm -hmm. um, I have never put my name behind any other product mm -hmm. ever, but I use this, no joke, for all of my training. I attribute a lot of my athletic success to this, and I use it for just about every client, during every session, every single day. Why is it so good for you? All right, four main reasons. First of all, all people. Okay, as a trainer, we have a huge range of clientele. Mm -hmm. Okay, so first of all, now I want to uh, demonstrate this with a chest press. Yeah. Okay, you get somebody in who's kind of unconditioned. Um, yeah. You get to do it too. Okay. Let's go. Yep. You go ahead. Okay. And you can start at a very shallow angle, even with one foot in front. So somebody who can't do a push up or anything, yeah. that would be like okay. me. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then there's a self spot with your leg. Mm -hmm. So this is somebody who has never ever exercised before, or imagine strapping on an extra 300 pounds sure. to your back. Wow. This is actually going to be challenged. Now we have a Rob who walks in and says, I'm yeah. super fit, I want to have a really hard <laughs> uh -huh. workout. So now we take him, let's walk way underneath, careful of those flowers and yeah, the uh, Madison the flowers, City yeah. bird here. Okay, yeah. oh, you can go lower than that, eh? Yeah? Well, I'm, I'm yeah, in I the know. bushes here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now you do this, and holy cow, it just got a lot harder, and all we did was change the angle a little bit. And your core engages for all yep. these exercises. That's number four. Right? We're getting there. So you're really concentrating <laughs> on not splitting. You got it. Yep. You're worried about study. all these stabilizers. Now check this out. Pick up one foot. No, stay there. Pick up one foot. Now try to do it. Oh, God. All oh, of a sudden, we oh engaged all yeah, sorts of core. Mm. Yeah, and you can do the same thing with one hand. And she can talk while she's doing I know. <laughs> I know your hand. job. Yeah. The next point, and this is my favorite part, is all places. I mean, look at us. We're hanging yeah, from a tree, tree out in your mm -hmm. back patio right now. Um, the number one reason my, tr my clients fall off the wagon is because of travel. Okay, they either travel too much for yeah, work uh -huh. or they go on a long trip and they just fall off the wagon. Mm -hmm. This goes with me everywhere to all of my competitions all over the world, you find a tree somewhere, you hang sure. it up, you well, can get it. Well, you know, a... Rob's even saying that he'll just be biking and he'll find a playground uh -huh. and just hook oh, it up yeah, somewhere. Yeah. 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 There's a guy who uses yeah. it on, on the subway on his way to work. Is no that okay. right? Yep, yep. And so, but my favorite thing is to hook it up to trees. Yeah. Obviously, you have to ask permission usually yeah. when you're going to hook it up to tree. Okay. And all goals. Okay, so anybody, and I actually use myself as an example. I do the lumberjack sport thing. Mm -hmm. And two summers ago, I tore my ACL. And I had to use this to just relearn how to squat just oh, yeah. for the balance no oh, sure. and just to learn how to bend my knee. Oh, okay, okay, and they're also using this for elderly folks in a fall prevention study. Okay. okay, so just learning how to get balance, core strength. Okay, and then it goes all the way into professional athletes, professional football players, mm -hmm. uh, collegiate athletes, mix, mixed martial artists. Mm -hmm. And all you change is the angle of where you stand and and how much balance you have in this thing. And then, sorry, finally, uh -huh. all core all the time. Sure. Your abs okay. are always engaged. All right, now we so want to talk about your, your boot, boot camp, camp quickly. Yes, of course. Um, we are starting next week, Thursday. We've got two of them in the morning, two of them uh, mid-morning afternoon classes. And again, just like uh, what I was showing you here, there's all different ranges so anybody can participate and get a fantastic mm -hmm. workout and you will have these the two we, oh You'll yes have well, them we've there. got a whole awesome setup in the ceiling no nope, we've got them there they're hooked up um, it's a it's a crazy fun event do you have time for one more exercise sure yeah. let's do one more we can okay. I know they got a full okay. speed up but they yep. got it now. <laughs> <laughs> flexibility actually for the golfers okay. Uh -huh. okay so not just strength but also flexibility so I'm gonna have you hit a slight knee bend put your hands down in front okay and you're just gonna twist one hand up and look over the shoulder Oh, okay, and bring it back down. So okay. not just strength, not just cardiovascular, but also flexibility. And this is working that essential range of motion that golfers need for their rotation and their swing. Wow. Very okay. good. That's this great. is very cool. Thank All you. Right. So you're welcome. Thank, Thank you guys thank you so much. All right, now go to her boot camp next <laughs> week. We'll be right back with more news after this.